Another Ukrainian commander loses his job. Zelensky sacks close aid Yuri Sodol amid cracks on the front line. The commander who killed more Ukrainian troops than Russia. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has made a significant change in military leadership once again. Now he has appointed Brigadier General Andriy Natov as the new head of the Joint Command of the Armed Force of Ukraine, replacing Lieutenant General Yuri Sodol. This decision comes after a report of mistake made by Sodol in the ongoing war with Russia, which has lasted for over two years now. The change in leadership also coincides with the devastating Russian missile attack on the eastern Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk. The attack, described as one of the largest against the civilians in recent time, resulted in five deaths and 41 injuries, including four children. The Russian forces reportedly also used two Skandar M ballistic missiles, striking the city twice within half an hour. The attack caused significant damage to vehicle and homes, with one house destroyed. Meanwhile, the internal criticism of the previous military leadership has also surfaced. Bodon Krotevich, acting commander of the Azov Brigade, has also publicly criticized Sodol, claiming that he killed more Ukrainian soldiers than any Russian general. Krotevich even went too far as saying that he demands an investigation into Sodol's competence by Ukraine's State Bureau of Investigation. This leadership change is not unprecedented. Zelensky has previously also removed senior military and political official in response to the battlefield setbacks. Earlier this year, he also fired Valery Zaluzny, Sersky's predecessor, after significant losses in a counter-offensive against the Russian forces. The defense minister was also replaced last September due to alleged involvement in corruption scandals. The recent dismissal of Sodol comes in the wake of Russian forces making gains in the Kharkiv region, capturing numerous towns and villages in early May. Ukrainian casualties have also reportedly increased since the beginning of the year with Russian President Vladimir Putin claiming that Ukraine is losing around 50,000 troops per month. The Russian Defense Ministry has also reported high Ukrainian losses, claiming over 1,900 Ukrainian troops were lost on a single day when Russia attacked the Kharkiv front line. Moreover, the fall of Kharkiv city still remains a possibility for the Ukrainian forces. And so, this frequent change in high-ranking position reflect the difficulty Zelensky is facing while managing the prolonged war and pressure on the Ukrainian government to improve the military performance as soon as possible.